Well, well, well. Don't you think it's about time for an update? I do. So, coming at you today, it's what, March 14th that I'm recording this. Got the cat behind me nervously pacing around with my crystals. And I got a few key ideas to share. First and foremost, I want to be sure you know how to and where to find the exclusive content that I'm publishing very regularly because it's not happening here on YouTube and that's for several specific reasons. And I'm probably gonna touch on those reasons, okay? So you get a bit of the why in addition to the what. So let's start with the what, right? Um, I've been really enjoying taking some time with this microphone to create and broadcast audio. The Miles Beckler podcast feed is getting all of my newest, best content and ideas. So you're either a podcast person already, or you're about to be, and I'm here to help you tune in effortlessly. And I'll tell you why I do truly believe that podcasting is a superior platform for you to learn on because it's a distraction free listening zone. So first and foremost, what phone do you have? If you are on an iPhone, your phone came pre-populated with an app called podcasts. It's purple or well, the button is purple. So click that button. If you don't see it on your home screen, just go search in your phone for podcasts. You'll find the app, click the app. And then from there, search my name, Miles Beckler. And you'll find the Miles Beckler Marketing Entrepreneurship Show. Click subscribe and you'll get all of the updates as I'm releasing them. And last week I hit every day. I didn't do the weekend, but there were five new episodes in five days. And I can hear you already. Well, Miles, why aren't you publishing them here on YouTube? We will get there. Let me help our Android friends for folks like me who prefer the Android platform. You do need to go actually download an app. Your phone probably didn't come pre-installed with a podcasting app. I personally use one called Pocket Cast. I don't know if I like it. I just know how to use it. So I am not gonna go learn a new app. Um, Spotify, all of my tunes, all of my podcasts are on Spotify. So if you're an iPhone person or an Android person, just on Spotify, search Miles Beckler. You can connect up there. Uh, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Podbean, all of them. I'm gonna show up everywhere, right? I've got it connected up through the RSS feeds. Any podcast app you want to use, you'll be able to find me on. So that's where to get my newest, best content. Uh, I've released new strategies already that are on there, like the 24 hour cash flow machine. Um, and then I broke a bunch of shit in my business this weekend. And I shared that whole story with you as well. So all that's on there ready for you. Now, why would I not publish that content here on YouTube? Okay, that's a really good and brutally important question to ask today. Because our world has changed, right? From when I started this little adventure in broadcasting, the world we live in today is very different than it was. Now, I just wanted to get like momentum and I wanted to break down a belief in my head about I'm not a content creator, right? I had to like break through some limiting mental stuff. I had a cell phone in my pocket. I put it on a tripod, recorded video number one and bingo, five years later, built something pretty freaking special, okay? A lot of those videos required screen share. I teach you how to do keyword research, how to build a funnel on WordPress, how to do YouTube mark, all kinds of stuff, right? I, I like nuts and bolts in the trenches, but that's all out there now, okay? Today, we live in a world where censorship is becoming normalized. So me continuing to publish here on YouTube as my primary place to go is riskier today for me, my brand, my business than it's ever been before. So that's part one, okay? Now I have students, uh, mi amigo Ruben, who teaches uh, people how to carve, 
literally like how to carve eyeballs out of stone, how to carve, like he's, he's a carver. He's an artist. He's incredible what he does. And he was teaching everything he knows, the Miles Beckler method and YouTube shut him down. Gone. Hundreds of videos. Gone. Like this wasn't controversial. He's not spreading disinformation. There's no one he can reach out to. There's no one he's been able to get help from. Years of work. Gone. Because a faceless corporation decided you made a mistake. Didn't have strikes before that either. Just gone. Not to mention, I do have students in the financial world, in the global macro world, who talk a lot about global macro things. And um, they talk about the shared human experiences we all have on this planet, right? Dealing with the lockdowns and all this stuff that's happened in the last couple of years, not to mention what's going on right now that's horrific in another part of the country. I ain't even going to say those words because it's risky. And those guys have been shut down. And YouTube is just like axing folks. And I'm not going to subject myself to that. Now, there's another side of it. And that's you. And it's your attention. Because there's a few other things that YouTube's been doing. Number one, the spam comments we creators have to deal with here are atrocious and nonstop. I could have my developer literally code out. I could, I could think up ways to code this out, to block that from ever being. YouTube gives zero fucks about us creators, period. And that hurts to realize. Also, if YouTube had YouTube's way, do you know what you would do today? Nothing but watch videos. Their ultimate outcome through their algorithm is to turn you into a zombie that just sits there and binge watches YouTube all day, every day. Why? Because that's how they'll be able to show ads in front of you and that's how they make money. And who shows up in those ads? It's those damn greedy gurus, right? It's all the fake gurus. YouTube is totally cool with scammers selling scams through YouTube ads. Straight up. They're cool with it. As long as they pay, perfect. Which means you, when you watch my videos, there's a lot going on around this video. I don't care if you're on mobile, desktop, laptop, up top, down top. It's a distraction mechanism. YouTube is a distraction mechanism. Because YouTube's goals are actually counter to your goals if you are serious about building a business online, right? So let's say you're like, oh, I got to learn keyword research. We go to YouTube, Miles Beckler keyword research. You start watching my videos. No ads on my videos, consciously, none of them. I have zero ads on all my videos because I am not willing to give your attention over to the greedy gurus, the fake gurus, and the scammers who are proliferating, whoa, that didn't roll off the tongue, proliferating the advertising side of this platform. But when you watch my video, the YouTube algorithm, the YouTube user experience, all their testing that they're doing is how do they suck you in so you spend hours on the platform instead of get in, get the update you need, get out, get back to doing what you need to do to grow your business. So is YouTube the enemy? It was a weird thing for me to say, right? Like I built this brand on YouTube, but I'm noticing the toxicity of this platform. And I believe that so many viewers are getting sucked down the proverbial rabbit holes here on YouTube when ultimately y'all should be publishing content. You should be doing keyword research, outlining that next post, writing and publishing post to your WordPress blog, writing a sales letter, 
create a new product, creating a new lead magnet, setting up a pop-up on your blog, creating a lead page, creating a lead an opt-in page, emailing your list, making new offers. That's what you should be doing. And YouTube, if you're spending an hour a day on YouTube, that's an hour a day that could be going in your business. One hour per day, every day, 365 hours in a year. That's like nine weeks of 40 hour work weeks. That's over two months of full-time work, one hour a day. And my concern is that way too many people are wasting way more than an hour a day here on YouTube. So I'm making some changes. Plus, to be honest with you, it's different doing the video thing, right? I keep my lights up. I kind of got a shave. I got cleaned up and it's good to do every once in a while. But man, on the podcast, I can get an idea and come in here, turn it on blank screen. Just, just get it out, get it in your head through the earbuds, through my podcast feed. Bingo. Efficient for me, efficient for you. I'm going to encourage you. I'm going to keep you moving forward, right? So what I believe has happened is Miles Beckler Brown 1.0 on YouTube here was like tactical. Here's how to do it all. Click here, click here. You want to write a search engine optimized post. Great. Search YouTube for how to write SEO keyword posts fast by miles Beckler. You'll find my video. I walk you through how to research it, how to build the outline, how to fill out the outline. It's here for you. Right. And I've got hundreds of videos and they're all going to be here. I'm going to leave them here to make sure this library of free how-to information to help you build your business is always here. But the truth about success that I understand deeply that every other successful entrepreneur really understands is your success is more dependent on the conversations you're having with yourself in your head than it is on strategies and tactics. Your mindset is either supporting you or it's killing you. And I've been a personal development geek for a very long time. And I now know that is one of the reasons why I'm so successful. That's why I've been able to build a business that will indeed persevere and sustain my family forever. This ain't no hustle. As times get tough, my income continues to rise. And I want you to get to this point also, but it requires reorganizing some stuff up here because mainstream media, public school education, TV shows, movies, Netflix, the news is all clogging up everybody's head with some bullshit that isn't serving you. It's serving their agendas. YouTube is here to serve YouTube's agenda, which is to make the most profit it can to return as high of a multiple as possible to investors. The corporations are not set up in your best interest. In fact, one could argue that having a docile, hypnotized herd of sheeple. Oh God, that's a horrible way to put it, but I think you get what I'm saying. That's their goal. They don't want you to think. They don't want you to try to climb out of the crab pot. They don't want you to fire your boss and build something for your family. That'll give you the freedom to go live anywhere in the world that you want to go work the hours that you want to work. They want you to be trapped as a cog in their system, right? A gear in their system, building profit for their shareholders, paying exorbitant amounts of money to their CEOs. That's their goal for you. What's your goal for you? And how much of your time and energy is spent on your goal? for you. See, we're in, un we're in a new world. We're in uncharted territory. And I think you can tell that 
some shit's changed on this end, right? Like my style, my delivery, my thought processes, what's most important. It's different today than it ever has been before. And I'm going to tell you, honestly, there is an urgency being thrust upon you by the world at large. You got to get shit together quick. Okay. It's a little bit more urgent. I've been saying for a very long time, dig your well before you're thirsty, right? Well, the world's getting thirsty as right now. If you ain't feeling it yet, it's going to start hitting. Showing up at the grocery store. Showing up at the gas pump. Showing up everywhere. So, exclusive content from me. I'm here to mentor you. And that's this next phase. People ask me all the time, Miles, would you mentor me? I'm like, the fuck you think all these videos are for? It's mentorship on demand. So I started thinking about it and my, my mentors. I have never met or really, I've never met in person anybody I consider to be a mentor. Ever. Mentors? flow through my headphones, right? That's my secret. I listen to 60 to 70 books per year, every year. Why? Heard a statistic that the average successful CEO reads five books a month. Well, cool. There's the bar. Check it. I'm one of those people, right? Like that's their culture. Great. I'll do that too. So what I learned over the years and Interestingly, I believe this actually stemmed from earlier forays into network marketing is where I think this actually came from for me. Because a lot of network marketing companies, they've got this whole like, you know, it's, it's not a, uh, it's not a essential oil business. It's a personal development business, right? And, and when you get into network marketing, it's all about mindset. It's all about really understanding um, this conversation getting this going in the right direction, everything starts to follow that. So I realized that the big differentiator of what I've been able to do is the fact that I habituated many years ago, listening to books on CDs originally. The first one, I actually remember the first audiobook. it was uh, in college, community college, when I was studying radio and television broadcasting, it was an interpersonal communication class. I had to read a book. I didn't really want to read the book. I found the CDs on eBay for like five bucks or eight bucks. I used to have to commute over the bridge from Hayward to Foster City for work. I would drive over that bridge literally six times a day. So I'd go to work at Foster City in the morning, back to school for mid morning, back to work for lunch, back to school, back for an evening shift and home. This is when I was studying broadcasting. We're talking like 2003-ish, had a CD player, and I was able to get through that book in like a week. And I was like, damn, I did it. I usually, I used to just not read the books and I would bullshit the paper and I would get C's, right? C's get degrees. So that clicked. And then from there, that's when I started to learn about personal development books, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, those types of things that really started to open my mind. Wallace Waddles, The Science of Getting Rich. Uh, you too can be prosperous. Um, if you're in Audible, just search for Nightingale Conant. Pretty much everything under the Nightingale Conant brand that has really good star ratings is is worth listening to. The, the Tony Robbins of the world. I've never been to a Tony Robbins event. I get his bit. I've, I've installed a lot of his ideas into my mindset on like $10 audiobooks, right? One credit on Audible at a time. So what I want to do now is help you go through audio university because that's what I put myself through. And I went through real university. I didn't go to college right after high school. I went straight into the workforce. It took me six to eight years and it took me eight years and six colleges to actually get a degree that's in university studies that made me truly realize that college is a fucking joke. There's a few degrees. If you want to be a lawyer, got to go, got to do it. But if you go get an MBA today, ooh, mm, good luck with that. You'd be better off 
plugging into Audio University, filling your brain with a mindset to understand how business works, how humans work, how psychology works, how persuasion works, and go flip stuff, go sell stuff, go create things that other people value, go learn how to sell things that you create, go learn how to create content that helps other people that the algorithms find. You unlock that little world, all the money you need can even automate it. it ain't passive, but it's possible. So that's why podcasting feels right to me right now. A, it's easy. I can pop into here, lights off, beard all scraggly. I can record something that's super important for you. I can follow my inspiration and my intuition, and I can get these ideas out quick. I've been doing one a day, weekdays on the podcast feed, and I think that's going to stick around. We're also entering camping season. I don't know if you saw on Instagram, my fancy ass little camper van, but I'm pretty damn excited to go roam around the country in my fancy ass camper van. I don't give a fuck what diesel prices are. Sorry for the F-bombs. But it's just one of those days. But I don't have to care. 10 bucks a gallon? Like, okay, whatever. I'm still going to drive across the country. Why? Because I print money for my job because I figured all this stuff out. And while on that road trip, I intend to continue to share the most important and most valuable ideas for you as they pop up off my little cell phone. Just going to click record, make an MP3 file, boop, 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 upload it. It's done. Easy for me. Then here's the kicker. So you will get a notification on your phone. If you have notifications on, turn them off. I don't care. You can just open the app and look and you'll see there's new stuff from Miles Beckler. You'll pop in your earbuds, listen to it while you're doing something else. This is the magic of audio university. You're driving to take the kids to something. You're driving to your job. You're sitting on a train, commuting to somewhere. You're at the gym. You're doing laundry. So yesterday I did a bunch of laundry, clean the house, deep clean. The whole time I had headphones on, consuming positive, uplifting, helpful information that gets my mindset focused on a better life that I'm creating for myself and for my subscribers. Bingo. I turned these mundane things that had to get done in my life into positive learning time. That's the audio university. And I am going to be dropping as many knowledge bombs as humanly possible onto the podcast feed. It's really easy for me. Now I'm blessed that I have this YouTube channel. Okay. So YouTube is a wonderful discovery platform. Cause I know there's some of you out there that are like, damn miles, like I'm doing YouTube. Don't, don't throw me under the bus like that. I'm not. I'm reminding you that your business will require you to do different things at different phases of your growth and your development of your business. You see, starting with YouTube, going after hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of specific keyword phrases that I know people are searching was really smart because the YouTube algorithm brought people into my ecosystem. I leveraged it. I played their game and I leveraged the algorithm to grow my audience. But now I'm inviting my audience to come into a deeper learning experience with less distractions, because I realized that if I keep publishing videos here on YouTube for you, the distraction machine is on. And when you click on one of those other videos around this, because that's what they're designed to do with their thumbnails that are designed to get click through rates, right? Everyone is optimizing to suck your attention away from what's important for you to do to help your family so they can make more money. So if I keep putting daily videos up here, I'm gonna get you to come back here daily. And then every day I'm gonna have to expect you to have the willpower and the strength to not get sucked down that rabbit hole, to not get sucked into that greedy gurus, bullshit ass pitch to not go on to their webinar. So how can I create a sacred environment? How can I create an environment for you and I to go deeper? That's the podcast feed, All right? You starting to get it? Is this making sense? And I'm sure some of those will end up here, but not all of them. I'm busier right out there in my permaculture garden. I got 50 fruit trees in the ground, 30, 40, 50 bushes, fruit, bush, fruit bushes. I'm growing a food forest. 
three years ago, it was just an intuitive nudge. Uh, I should probably go get some land with water and build me a permaculture garden. What's permaculture? It's permanent agriculture, systems-based approach to growing food. So my ass can go on a six month trip, come home and I got food in my yard. It's feeling like that was a pretty good idea now, more so now than ever before seeing food prices change, seeing the potential of fertilizers getting cut off in our world. It's coming. World is changing. We are, we are amidst the fourth turning. We are amidst a point in time that humanity will look back at, will talk about history books, will review and future generations are going to look back and be like, what the were they thinking and doing? We maybe overextended ourselves as a society. We've maybe be living, we've maybe been living pretty damn large. So that's what I want to be doing. More systems for my permaculture forest growing. I'm actually taking a full permaculture certification course. It's going to be like 70 plus hours of study and whatnot, right? I'm serious about this stuff. So I don't really want to keep doing the videos, which is why I've been on pause for such a long time. You've been noticing we in rerun season. I'm just rerunning old stuff. I made one video new other than this one since my end of an era video. Everything else has been download old video, publish it up new, just to stay mildly relevant. But now I'm on to that next thing. And I studied radio television broadcasting. When I was younger, when I got into radio television broadcasting, at Chabot College in Hayward, California, 89.9 KCRH, the East Bay's best variety station, where I had my own radio show back in 2002, 2003, 2004. I wanted to be a shock jock, right? Howard Stern, Opie and Anthony, these guys are riling people up. Oh, it was a dream. So here I am. With a microphone, some time. I'm living my dream. I'm just going to become a radio broadcaster through the broadcasting medium. And I'm inviting you to come along because my intention is not shock jockery. My intention is to help you understand how your brain works, how the world works, how success works, how the law of attraction works, how manifestation works, how consciously creating your reality works. And I want to do so in an environment where I can confidently trust that you aren't going to get distracted and sucked down the rabbit hole and end up on some webinar from some greedy guru who's just trying to get from you. Because as the economy continues to change, inflation going up, man, those oil changes on those Lamborghinis, ooh, they're getting more expensive by the day. Lamborghinis are getting more expensive by the day. Have you seen the Porsche market? Good Lord. It takes a lot more money today to flex on Instagram to look like you're successful than it did two years ago. Hmm, guess what they're going to do? They're going to try to extract more money from you with more predatory tactics and advertising and scammy offers that YouTube is 100% cool with running and letting you get. You're the sucker in that scenario. And I've been contributing to that in my own way. But now I've got a better plan. It's already in execution. There's several exclusive podcast episodes with some of my best ideas already there waiting for you. When the timing's right for you, when you're doing other stuff, right? Get double time with your time. I'm out turning the compost making me some soil, learning how to build up the soil so I don't need to pay the overpriced rates for fertilizers, right? Just take my food scraps. <whistles> got to turn it all the time. Got to work with it all the time. So I'm listening to positive things. I'm getting my vision for my life, my insights for my life going in the right direction that's going to help me create more of what I want in this world. More thoughts of abundance. More thoughts of, I am the creator here made in the image and the likeness of the creator. I am here to be of service at scale. Bingo. Cool. So I ain't just turning the compost. I'm not just out there with a lawnmower. Good Lord, I wish I could run the lawnmower. We're covered in snow. <laughs> not, not covered, but there's still a lot of snow around. I'm filling my head. 
got them 3M Workmate headphones. They're like they're like earmuffs. They're they're noise canceling. So I can run a chainsaw, right? I can be out splitting wood and I can still hear it. I got all kinds of headphones. Headphones everywhere, right? On purpose. Constantly filling my head with positivity. Filling my head with empowerment. Filling my head with the truths of the universe about how this works, how this universe works. Karma is real. And if you're cool, karma is cool. If you're a bitch, that's when karma's a bitch. Right? So, I'm gonna call it. I enjoy these moments with you. I want you to know that. Like, I really do. And I, I'm really, I've been thinking a lot about, like, God, I, I want to keep helping you. I want to keep showing up for you. But I can't do so in a toxic environment as regularly and as often as I did. I would get dopamine and serotonin and all kinds of great brain chemicals. As I cross 200,000 subscribers here on YouTube, I don't care about that. I got enough automated income and recurring income coming in to take care of me for the rest of my life. I'm growing my food. I'm taking care of my family. I'm working on helping take care of my damn community. And I got to keep taking care of you. So if you want to get my best stuff, it's on the podcast feed. Find a podcast app that you like. Okay. Spotify. If you're already used to it, just use Spotify. If you're on an iPhone, you ain't never used one. Use the native Apple iPhone podcast app. It's really easy. If you're on Android, I don't know, try Pocket Cast, Podbean, Stitcher, whatever. It's easy. And then we can keep moving things forward because I am still taking action all the time in my business. It's just quiet. I'm an hour a day, two hours a day. I can keep my million dollar business running. Right? Get up, publish a piece of content, send an email to my list, put out something helpful somewhere online. Psh, done. Let's get out in the garden. Let's go grow food. That's what I want to do with my time. You know, oh, I'm building my shop, insulating my shop, about to give me a couple of cars up in there, do a little wrenchy wrenchy, maybe build a hot rod, maybe build a bike. I'm not sure. I'm just, just about to have some fun, but the shop's not insulated. So it got down to 16 degrees is the coldest temperature measured in my shop this winter. Not working on a car in that kind of temperature. And those are freedom units. Those are not the, the centigrade or Celsius or whatever the other units are. 16 freedom units. That's tough. So guess what I'll be doing when I'm out there working on a hot rod? Listening to empowering content that reinforces the important ideas that I am prosperity. I am made in the image and the likeness of the creator. I am a creator. I am a divine being here on this planet having a human experience. I'm a spiritual being having a human experience. And I'm here to enjoy it. And I'm here to help other people. And when I keep my mindset full in these crazy ass times, I stay in a positive vibration. When I enjoy my life, I'm walking around having a good old time with smiles on my face. I attract more things into my life that make me smile. When I express my gratitude for the reach and the value that my content makes and the income that it makes, it turns out that I make more. And that's the kind of stuff that I want to teach you mixed in with all of the other marketing stuff because I am a marketing geek, true and true. Uh, that's the other thing that I listen to nonstop, just always listening to the old marketing geeks, to the old marketing stuff. And I'll be sharing all those little truths that I get from there. And that's it for the video today. Went a bit longer. Look at that, 33 minutes and 33 seconds as I'm saying this right now. I'm gonna call that a sign, ladies and gentlemen. So if you know, you know. And if you don't know, you don't know. And either way, I invite you to join me on this new journey on the podcast feed. Tune in, connect up. Let's take this somewhere. Let's do some cool shit together. I will keep popping in here on YouTube from time to time. But if you want the most exclusive and most helpful content, it will be coming out on the podcast from this point on. That's that's media I own. Nobody can turn off my podcast feed. Nobody. Nobody can turn off my blog. It's the other place I'm putting content right now. YouTube, they got their finger over the button. Them bitches could turn me off in a moment. So I don't trust them. Plus, they're after your money. They're after your attention. They're after the most valuable resource you have in the life. The one thing you can't get any more of. They want your time. They want you to be a docile sheep in a zombie-like trance, hypnotized to just binge watch YouTube and let ad after ad after ad roll. That's their best outcome. Then those advertisers, oh, those advertisers, they also have an outcome that they desire. 
And that's for you to get on their webinar so they can pitch their high ticket BS so they can afford another Lambo or whatever it is. And then you buy their high ticket BS and it doesn't work. Bingo. Your mindset just went to shit. Your vibration just went down in the dumps. You start beating yourself up because you made this stupid mistake of buying into another stupid, scammy guru bullshit course again. And that toxic mindset creates nothing positive. You go right back to the bender of watching more things, numbing yourself, drinking alcohol, smoking weed, mood altering yourself. What the fuck? That's not why you're on this planet. Not at all. You're here to help people. You're here to help yourself. You're here to provide for your family, for yourself, for your community. And we need that more now than ever. It's time to step up. It's time to get really, really serious because all the chaos around is really, really serious. That YouTube algorithm is really psychologically scary and serious about sucking your time before you know what happens, as is Netflix and Hulu and all of them. And those greedy gurus selling you their bullshit fake ticket stuff, bullshit high ticket stuff, they're really good at what they do, right? They can lie through their teeth with a smile. They can look like good people. They look like clean cut little kids. They're lying through their teeth about passive income and they get praised. They get walked across the stage because there is a cesspool of greedy people in this industry who celebrate taking advantage of you. I'm sick of it. And the truth is you can change everything. You have what you need to change everything. You can create a better life for yourself. It's up here. The conversation that you're having with yourself in your head. And if you've got a shitty conversation going on with yourself in your head, put on my podcast, listen, go clean something, right? Like clean up your, look around. Do you need to clean up as bad as I do? Cause I got shit everywhere. If y'all could see my desk, Ooh, Lord, it is messy. Go clean something. Go watch the windows, put on the headphones, wait, do something that's going to make your environment, make your world a little bit better, right? Clean something, laundry, pick up after yourself. Do just get into any sort of motion while listening to positivity. And then you're going to have an inspired idea. Follow it. Take that action, publish that blog post, launch that blog, go after that niche, go after the birding niche or whatever niche you choose. And then when you start to freak out, like, Oh God, what am I doing? Don't go down that YouTube rabbit hole. Pop in the headphones, go clean something else. Time to go work in the garden. Time to go do something else. Go get your fitness. Got a six pack. I'm the fittest I've ever been at this point in my life. And you should probably be considering that too. Especially if you want to be on this planet for a long time, which is my plan. Got one chance at this life. Make a bunch of money. Check. Easy. Done. Automate it. Good. Health. Ooh, got to get that in order. If that ain't in order, not enough money could buy it. Got a friend who died last year. Dude's been making millions for a very long time on his deathbed. He couldn't buy his way out of that scenario. So that's the best lesson he ever taught. You can do it. You can transform your life. You can create automated income. You can build something you'll be proud of that helps other people. It takes a lot of work. Ultimately, it takes keeping this on straight. And that's what I'm here to help you with. Catch me on the podcast. I'm going to call it for today. I appreciate you. If you made it to the end, I want to know in the comments, one percenters. I know you're out there. That's who I'm talking to. I don't care about the hundreds of thousands of people who watch one or two videos and then they jump to some passive income bullet. That's not who I'm talking to right now. I'm talking to you. You can do this. I'm here for you. Get this going in the right direction. Everything else starts to fall in place. It's the truth. Take care of your health. Catch you on the next one. I'll see you today, today, tomorrow on the podcast feed. I do appreciate you and I look forward to connecting again in the future. Cheers.